Hey folks, it's time for another Jeep video. I'm still working on my Project Wrangler and um, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and replace the uh, front control arm bushings. So I found them on Rock Auto. They were clearance. Um, they're Mood. That's, that's a quality enough brand. Um, it was $5.91 for a pair of them. So I mean, you can't, can't really go wrong with that. Uh, these are nice and fresh. Those are not, um, and I just think this will be a lot easier to do if I um, have the engine out of my way. So, um, remember, I'm, this this whole project is a playlist, so you can go back and watch from the beginning when I drug this thing home a little over a year ago, up until every part of this except for when it was at the uh, frame shop. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get um, one of these control arms out of the way. It's kind of a pain in the butt last time, but meh, you know, it'll be less of a pain in the butt to do it now. So I sprayed these with some pea blaster yesterday, give them a day or so to set. So hopefully it'll be pleasant and not a pain in the ass. So anyway, let's get going. All right, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket. I just happen to have a half inch drive socket handy. There is a fair amount of torque on these, and as with many things, I added Loctite. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, oh, well, that was clever. So it managed to run itself all the way around. It goes unpunished, and this is not going to be easy. All right, no problem. I don't know what the hell size that is, but it's not 9 sixteenths, it's not uh, 11 sixteenths, 5 eighths, it's got to be, that's what's in between them. And it's not that either. Try 16 millimeter. Nope. Now oh, there we go. 15 millimeter. It's just a beat up 15 millimeter. Okay, so I found a face that'll. Seat. Or not. So when things are uncooperative, there are other ways. actually uh, being much harder than I expected it to be. Alright, so we're going to have to fix this 
of encouragement. wasn't very encouraging. So I'm going to see if I can get that in there. There we go. Apparently that Harbor Freight Loctite is pretty good. So I am going to leave the bolt just slightly on there. Uh, and then that gives me the ability to do this. Without doing a lot of damage to the threads. You may recall from previous video that this was somewhat difficult to get out of here. I had to do this last time too. But that ain't gonna work. And I mean, there's really just not a good way to do this. The edges are just a little bit sharp. Uh, 
Um, so your Jeep probably doesn't have frame damage and this is probably a lot easier to do. My Jeep does have some frame damage and this is one of the consequences. Eventually I'm gonna upgrade to adjustable control arms so that I can wedge everything back where I want it. side. Alright, that allows me a little flexibility to get that out of my way. So now, what we need to do is see if this is going to move irritated her right now so Two and a half's the in, but not the out. So I think this will push this out. So now I need to find a cup that fits over this. So I think I've got the pieces I need. This is going to go over here like this. So let me get this set up. And in case you're wondering, I am renting these from Advance Auto. Uh, it was just the cost of a deposit and not really a big deal. 
probably a little bit of pain in the ass to put together. This doesn't look right, but apparently it is. And a third set of hands would really be handy about now for that reason right there because it's going to have to stack like that. This is really a two-person project, so if you've got a helper, get them. also worth pointing out that this is a ball joint puller okay this was really difficult to get set up but again I think this will be fine it's gonna be a little fragile It just seems to be compressing the rubber. <laughs> I 
gonna take a lot of force to break this loose. Actually, it looks like it's bending the mount. just bent the damn mount. So what should have happened is this should have bent out and instead it appears to have um, just simply bent the mount. Oh, that's so fucking irritating. I really did not expect that to bend. doesn't take much of this, but it really should have been applied a little further back. Um, yeah, let me think about it. I'll be back. Alright, so I was kind of heading, I went and watched some other people's YouTube videos. I was kind of headed in the right direction. Um, so nothing really wrong there. Um, didn't have some of this set up completely correct. Uh, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to try. Oh, you know what? I want to use a smaller cup on that. Um. sort my pieces out. Okay, so I've got a piece that will sit on the metal piece of the old bushing, and then uh, i got to find something to fit on the inside, so let me... Let me rig that up. Okay, so apparently... This does the forcing, and this does the receiving, and this is how this needs to be set up. Um, I really would like this to be a little better aligned, um, and in the case of what we're about to do, I think we're going to do it this way. Yeah, 
So what we're gonna do is just trap the rubber that's in here. This is all worn the hell out anyway. The instructions that come with this leave a lot to be desired, but I think I can make this work. I can't find anything when I'm looking for it. Right, we're just going to see if we can get this in here. So I'm going to use my electric impact wrench, which will not fit. So I'm going to have to take the wheel off to get the access. All right, whatever. Let me uh, let me get this jacked up and get the wheel off. Don't have a whole lot of anything on the on the um, I only have a couple bolts in because I'm planning to replace them. I remember he was I want to say these are 17 millimeter. No, they're what I left in there. Stand in place. We'll go ahead and pull the tire. And now we should be able to get in here. And what do you 
know the spring's in the way. You gotta be kidding me. It is making short work out of the rubber though. Real short work. hoping for it to go down quite that fast. But that'll work. Alright, that's a five eight seven seven eight. So I need a heavy duty seven eight socket that I can abuse. remove the uh, core so let's get the rest of it out So here's a piece of it. Thank you. 
I do not have an air hammer. But I don't think this is supposed to be bad. Now the question is how do we force that out of there? It's that shitty of an assembly. Well, let's just see what kind of abuse we can wreak with a hammer and an extension bar. See if we can are thought to be sharp. about one thing this is a lot easier to do with the engine out of the way
Now that long two foot screwdriver was a Harbor Freight $10 for a pair of them deal. chisel but I have a four pound mallet and I have a two foot screwdriver. Besides shift taxes, I realized I need to compress this, so I um, I'm just going to hammer. And a screwdriver. And then I'm gonna see if I can get after it on this side, and maybe it'll pop out now. to stick something in here it just slips off and goes inside Beat it up some more. I'm quite rather irritated at this thing.
fit. Well, kind of. There you go. That saved me 20 bucks. Still gotta get it loose. Fuck y'all, piece of shit. I can definitely say that I'm doing this with the engine out. Because that would be a pain in the ass. All right, so, um, really should clean that out. Let me see what I got around here. All right, this ain't pretty, but it'll work. Maybe. was bothering me so I don't know how well that's gonna pop in there I don't know oh yeah that, that'll fit perfectly so let's put it back together I mean, she ain't perfect, but it'll work. going to get us most of the way there. there. 
it needs a little more love from the BFH. Big fucking hammer. Oh. go. Now, one of the things that's beautiful about the metal tools is they take an awful lot of use and they don't complain. Alright, so that wasn't too terribly horrible, although it wasn't that nice either. But now we've got a nice solid um, yeah, so this is nice and solid. So, one of the things I want to do before I go too much further is I want to rattle can uh, some of this rust. the armchair please get me um, I'm not trying to make it perfect I'm just trying to make it better and I got something for you armchair police it's called my ass you can kiss it you don't like it go buy your rec jeep and you, you do it and make some videos and show us See how jacked the fuck up this is gonna be. All right, let's pick this up and see if we can get it closer. So what I did last time, and what I'm gonna do this time, is I picked the axle up by the front uh, here, knowing that I can torque or twist the axle a little bit by picking it up by this front. It's the front of the sway bar bracket like a charm all right where the hell did the shit that's right under my nose go yep so this one's 60 uh, foot-pounds for torque. We'll put a whole lot of Chinese uh, thread lock on here. China's cheapest, scammiest shit. You know, in China, it's okay to rip people off as long as you make money. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but uh, really I do think that's the truth. a completely unrelated and inappropriate question which is did the Chinese make that ocean gate submarine thing because if they did that would sure the hell explain why it blew up oh sorry it didn't blow up it blew in all right that looks like it's 60 right there switch that to tight
right, that's a 15 and we need a 15 deep. is it that I don't have a 15 deep metric? God damn it. I'm going to go buy me some more tools at fucking Harbor Freight. So I have it, but it's in the wrong... We're not the wrong different. I have it in three eighths, not in half inch. Yes, indeed, it's a lot easier with the engine out. All right, woohoo! That's one. That's one side. Hey, I was gonna make this a separate video. Um, this this Jeep was equipped by somebody with. Uh, I guess they're called tuner bolts. Um, I, I call them stupid bolts. Um, so, where is that little piece of shit? Yeah, where that piece of shit went? Um, so anyway, these, these tuner lug nuts are an absolute pain in the ass. Um, yeah, I really wonder where that piece of shit went. There it is. Oh, that's a normal one. This is an acorn nut, but the, a lot of what this Jeep has are are these stupid fluted lug nuts and I lost a socket to one. I'm not happy about that. So I said, fuck y'all, I'm gonna buy um, some pretty lug nuts that are black. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. Now, the magic question is what the hell size are these things? But we will figure that out momentarily. Should be three quarter, and it smells like three quarter. It looks like three quarter. We're gonna call it three quarter now. Where the hell is a three quarter inch? God damn it! I know I've got a fucking socket. one so let's get this party started probably shouldn't pick it up by that but yeah, here we are
not have enough room to work over here. One more, and then we'll have all of them on this log, back wheel. And then I'm going to snag them with the uh, impact wrench. Send to. Okay, so the magic answer is 100 foot pounds. So that's what we're going to head to. But first, we've got to lower the trip sheet. And probably would help if we took the jack stand out. Take it to the other side. We're going to leave it over here. Set the e-brake. in. So hopefully this one will not be quite the pain in the ass now that I have done this once.
damn wheel off and undo it this way. <coughs> All right. A lot more room on this side. feel like we're making a little bit of progress. All right, now, where were we before we were so irritatingly distracted? Right here. Hey, there's that three quarter inch that I was looking for. I knew I'd find it somewhere. Now, So, the next stunt Let's see what this big red screwdriver has to do for me today.
So we need to rotate this. wondering what I would do with a spare zip tie. Well, it's not really supporting any weight, it's just to get this out of my way to make my life a little bit easier. A string would work, but a zip tie smells more convenient. There we go. So, you know, we're going to do this differently. I'm feeling a little aggravated, so I'm going to take some frustration out of this piece of shit. method of removing a bushing. And you might ask yourself, well, what is a BFH? It's a big fucking hammer. This is to crush that in, but I, it's not really working the way I'd like it to. So, it seems like we're going to break out the old uh, not that one, that's for sure. this would do just fine. Yeah, it will. So we're going to do a couple things here. chase that thing that just came out. Let me go find it. Don't know why there is a ball bearing up inside here, but that probably does something.
I'm just looking for something to make this wider. Under more bad things we do. I'd love to use that, but I don't think it's going to work. See if we can find something that's got a better grip. What are we hanging up on down here? Oh, I see. Well, now that we've budged it, let's see if we can bang it. That'll work. It's not going to be pretty. What happened to this work, though? It will. Thank you. 
Again, I can't I can't emphasize how much easier this is with the engine not in the way of where I want to stand. Looking for my other hammer. Air hammer would make short work out of this. How much did I compress that one? Eh, not that much. away from what I'm where I'm hitting so I don't have to buy new ones
Okay. Second shot will we'll do the trick. Not that one though. gets us. Probably nowhere, but if you don't try, it'll definitely get you nowhere. Where the hell did I set the socket? Oh, there it is. vibrate it out. And sometimes you can't. going on here but I think I'm taking all the rubber out which is fine that'll advance my cause
Oh, and it definitely moved. Just don't know what's going on here. I see that's the all right that's the uh that's the tip of the the larger piece that i shoved through there to clean off the rubber have to come out of there before I can get the rest of this out. would be easier with an air hammer but it is coming
So I found some punches, and we're going to see what we can do with these. I think this is too soft. Yeah.
We got a little cleanup to do, and we can put the other, one, the new one in.
be the best paint but it'll work okay could use an extra person on this part. Because none of this shit wants to stick together. that's better.
Doggity damn. <sighs> so much China's best. So I gotta find a 15 millimeter socket, which is probably exactly where I left it. Ah, there it is. Let's see if we can twist this one back. Uh, 
Place those anyway, so I guess it's fine. the other wheel back on. torque them to 100 pounds. that will do upper control arm bushings. All right, I think we've got it right there. Let me uh, wipe my hands and uh, be right back.
get rid of this rubber on the inside here. That'll let me see what I'm actually hitting against. not without a uh, air chisel. See what I got over here in the
Nope, nothing uh, small enough to get in there, so we're going to have to piece it out.
hard one. Well that's right. You know what? We eventually discovered that this fits in here quite nicely. Thank you. 